Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is backing up your Unify OS, whether it's your Cloud Key Gen 2, Gen 2 Plus, whether it is uh, Dream Machine, Dream Machine Pro, Dream Machine SE, Unify Dream Router, Dream Wall, all those devices. The reason I'm making this video is over the last... I don't know, two months, we've had a half a dozen people get a hold of us and they've had problems where their UDM won't boot properly. Uh, something is, is messed up. And uh, we, I think we've had a couple of UDRs, a couple of UDMs, UDM pros. So I just want to show you real quick where the backups live and what your options are. So here we are in my UDR and we're not under Unify OS here, but we're under console settings. And if you're the owner of a console, you're going to get this option to back up the system configuration. And you can see that my UDR was backed up yesterday at 12.56 p.m. Now, you're seeing this video on Saturday morning, so the 16th would have been Thursday around noon. And it gets backed up and encrypted to your Ubiquity, your UI.com account, uh, as the owner of this device. Now... When we go into Unify Network, you can see if I go to Backups, I can make a backup of Unify. At the minimum, you should be keeping a backup of Unify or Protect or any of the other apps off of the device, whether it's with Ubiquity, whether it's on a flash drive or on a computer, somewhere. You need to have a backup, right? So if for some reason someone tells you, hey, factory default the device, you don't lose all your settings. That's one of the great things about the newer versions of Unify OS is that you can do this cloud backup directly to your UI.com account, and then you can restore it. And I have tested this with my UDR. I was able to factory default the, UD, the UDR. Now, let me tell you, if you follow me on other social media, I accidentally held that reset button too long, factory defaulted my UDR. But once I rebound it, rebinded it, rebound it, whatever, to my UI.com account, I was able to actually, the, the UI cloud was smart enough to know that it was the same UDR, and I was able to restore all of my settings back to the device. It worked flawlessly. Now, if you are not the owner of a device, but you're managed, managing a device, then you're probably going to be stuck with just the Unify backup or just the application backup. So you can see that I'm at this Cloud Key Gen 2 that I am not the owner of, and I just get the option to do backups here. And when I go to the Cloud Console backups, it takes me to a screen where obviously I'm not the owner, so I don't have access to that uh, version or that, I'm sorry, that configuration here. So make sure that one way or another, you are backing up your entire console. If you can, it's free. It goes right to your UI.com account. You control your UI.com account with multi-factor authentication, strong passwords, all those good things. Or you can download the application backups one at a time. Either way, you need to have a backup because if things go south, that's your safety net. Or if you want to test things, that's your safety net. If you've got any questions about how to do this, preferred methods, things like that, want to talk backup strategy, let me know. Leave it in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel so we can keep putting out this great content, you can use our Amazon affiliate links below. Become a patron on Patreon. Or if you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us. Or contact us, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Make backups of all the things. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.